Yo, what's going on with your YouTube drummer and Chris here? We come back at y'all with another vid and today we have a little unboxing here that I'm actually pretty excited to get, but I made a big mistake, you know? So we'll save this later, but real quick, I need to give a big shout out to the good people at Emerald City Deadstock. Uh, make sure you guys check them out on their website. I have all the links in the description below. Emerald City Deadstock good people's over in Seattle. I believe they have like a resale uh, website and all. They had some pretty good prices. Uh, and, and also, if you want to use my discount code, JMK7, save you guys a little bit of money on your order. And they had some pretty good prices and I needed some more inventory because I just got done with two shows and I need some more inventory and some good movers and stuff. I went on his website and he had some good prices. And I was like, you know what? I want all of it. So, hey, he hooked it up. So thank you. Like I said, I got a couple pairs here. It looks like, I think it was like 10 pairs or something like that. So, but anyways, they're all, <laughs> okay, they're all Panda Dunks, right? They're all Panda Dunks. Why did I buy so many Panda Dunks? You're probably asking. Hey, say what you want about pandas. How many times they restock? People are bored of pandas. You know, people call them very basic. I get it. But pandas. They still move. Hey, people still want pandas, like especially at resale stores, even at events too as well. That's what mainly a lot of your bulk buyers are gonna want is panda dunks, uh, especially with the holidays coming up. And that's why I've been trying to get a lot of easy movers, cause you know already the, like you know the the hype and the high price ticket items like the Lost and Founds, Alma Meniere's, Orange Lobsters. Those are like hard movers and they're real high ticket items. So only like people is gonna want like personals to, to buy those, and it's gonna be kind of tough to move because they're those prices are so expensive. So people usually try to get like smaller stuff like this, like a Panda Dunk. I mean, I think these things are now down to like 180. To, and then some sizes are like at 200, depending on what size it is. So, and I had one person uh, at the last event cash me out on all my pandas. So I need more Panda Dunk, so yeah. Big shouts to the good people over at Emerald City Deadstock. Yeah, if you want guys want to check them out, I have all their links in the description below. And if you guys want, use my discount code JMK7. Here it is. This is the one we've been kind of, I've been waiting for, okay? I'm a, you know, I'm a big fan of this, but why on earth did Soulfly print out like this? This is like what a reseller kind of looks like. <laughs> it even said third party. What? This, the Soulfly, did they use Ghost Shippo? That's probably know what it is. And this is going to be my actual very first time taking a look at these things, so. Here it is, here it is. Voila. Oh, this is a crazy looking box. Now, as you guys can see, the main part of the lid is completely clear. And uh, whatever the wrapping paper is, I believe this kind of represented, you know, uh, it was represented off of Michael Jordan's yacht. Must be nice to have a, you know, be rich and have a boat and stuff like that. So, but anyways, this is pretty cool though. So look. So fly, little logo right there. And oh, even got some so fly sticker right there. So appreciate so fly on that. And woo, here it is. Voila. <laughs> okay, so before I bring it, pull this all out, just let you guys know I made a major mistake if you guys saw my last video because I completely got the wrong, wrong size. So here it is. Let's see if I can put it up close so maybe it can look like it's kind of big. This is the Soul Fly 13s. That's right, man. Soul Fly 13s. And if you guys know me and all that, and you guys follow me for a long time, you guys should know that 13s is my favorite Air Jordan models. Like, this is like what I grew up on. So I was really excited for this shoe. These actually look okay, like, different materials. Look at the materials here on the toe box. There's no reflective on the side here. Usually this is more like, kind of like a, is it crack leather? Or is this more like a nappy suede or nubuck or something? All throughout, soft suede right here. Of course, you got the hologram, the panther paw. The panther paw right there. Overall, this is pretty nice, man. It's actually okay looking, all right? Uh, these things are not going for much, but I took all L's across the board. I took all L's on sneakers. I took all L's on on these things. I took an L on Soulfly.com. 
Uh, I know I went for a size nine and a half. I know for a fact I went for a size nine and a half. And for whatever reason, when I checked out, they gave me a goddamn size four. And when I emailed them, they said there was nothing they can do. So I'm actually really, really sad about that. You know, especially, um, you know, for me being a big fan of Jordan 13s and, you know, being a collab with Soulfly. I do like Soulflies, man. I like I like the Soulfly um, collaboration that they usually do, you know. You know, it's a store in Miami, if you guys didn't know. And uh, they came out with the first one was the Soulfly ones. The highs, those are really nice. I think those things are going for like two bands now. And last year was the Soulfly lows. Look kind of crazy though. I wasn't really feeling that one. No offense, sorry, so fly. But I wasn't really feeling those. I did even get a W on those, but I let those things go immediately. And now the SoFly 13s. And I know what people said. I think these things were sitting. It's just that when I went after these things, these things at like 10 a.m. when they first dropped, you know how it was. Bot was trying to cook. It was going crazy. I didn't think I was gonna hit on sneakers anyway, so I tried to get as fast as possible on these like you know these sites. And I figured that SoFly was at least probably had their most, probably had the most stock. I wasn't even in Miami that weekend, which I wish I was because it was the same drop. They had the concept, orange lobsters, you know, with the whole bells and whistles and then special box and stuff, stuff like that. And also they dropped these. And if I'm not mistaken, they maybe dropped the DJ Khaled's as well in the art bezel festival thingy. But yeah, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the size four, man. This is actually kind of, Kind of disappointing, man, because my wife's not a size four. I don't know anyone that's a size four. So, I mean, it's like a little girl's feet, man. Look how tiny this thing is, man. And like I said, man, I love my 13s, bruh. Man, this might be my biggest L, man. <laughs> I swear. If I had like a, maybe, because my wifey doesn't wear a size four. It's just too small. Who wears a size four nowadays? Crazy, because a size four used to be the money size, but not anymore, because I guess all the tiny people don't buy shoes no more. Teens is actually I right, man. Um, it, I wish it was my size. I think this is 3M right here. I don't know. I got, I'm gonna, I wanna do a full detail review and all that stuff, but just that, man, I need to get my size. So before I do that, I'll get my size first. I'll be in Miami next weekend for the Sneaker Swap 365 on December 18th. So may I bring it down, I can be able to get my size and all that, you know, maybe. I'll go down so fly myself and like, yo, let me get my size, please. No, they're probably sold out, so don't even. Hey, I'm in Miami. Maybe someone has it or something, so we can maybe make, you know, make a deal there. You know, I would hope. Anyone in Miami, you guys have the Soulfly 13s in a size nine, nine and a half, even a ten. I'll take it. These remind me of these are the old 2004 13s I had back in like high school. Yeah, man, these are. This reminds me of the University Blues, kind of in a way. But man, I love these things, man. I wish, I hope, I one day, if Jordan Brand can bless us and re-retro these, that will be fire. Or even the wheats, like this is another fire freaking colorway Air Jordan 13s. Man, I remember when these came out, these people were going crazy for these things, man. So like I said, man, this is 13s. This is my childhood. This is how I grew up. So that's why I love 13s. I know 13s don't really get a lot of respect. Some people don't like them. You know, maybe they just look kind of crazy, but hey, this is, this is the 90s vibe, all right? This is the 90s. Now, I know the hype silhouettes and or the, the hype models are the Air Jordan 1s, 3s, 4s, uh, 11s. I think that's about it. But like, you know, other ones, show some love for 13s, man. I love 13s. But yeah, man, um, again, I will see you guys tomorrow by the time I drop this video in LA. I'm going down to LA, guys. Um, some other drops going on, like the Cherry Lemons come out this week. I think we're, we're still getting the Travis Scotts too, the Black Phantoms. Man, this year is not over yet. You know, there's still a lot of hype stuff coming out, so it is not over yet. So, but anyway, guys, I will see you guys in LA at the Got Soul event, man. Should be a good time. The next week, back-to-back -back events, St. Louis for the Greater Sneaker Society, and then uh, Sunday, uh, December 18th, will be in Miami, Sneaker Swap 365. Anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if it's your first time here. Comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when I do drop vids. And don't forget to follow me on my social media at GermanChrisNG, Sunset on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm German Chris. Peace.